Welcome to Bajan Lifestyles, where we give you the best of Barbados <laughs> and all of its hidden pottery. Today, <laughs> today we are at Earthworks and we are going to go find out how handcrafted pottery is made, painted, and uh, what else? We're going to buy some pottery as well. Yeah, they actually cook the pottery here. It's a beautiful place, lots of beautiful pieces, and I'm ready to share it with you guys. Let's mm -hmm. go. Awesome. centrifugal force of the wheel and the circular motion I center it and open it and draw it up and make it into the shape that which um, the customer has, wishes it to be. Okay so you have a piece of clay that's wet and you've made it on the wheel like this teapot um, which is made in three, four parts. Um, it starts off as a wet piece of clay, so you would make it. Um, then you might trim the base and make a nice bottom termination. Um, fit the spout on, the top on, so that it fits together. All when the clay is wet, put on the handle when the clay is wet. And then you would move to decorating. Um, and um, you, I think you might have seen this, or you will see this. You will we decorate when the clay is wet, so raw clay decorations. And once the raw clay decorations are on, you would then bring the piece um, and place it on the drying shelf. And when it's fully dry, it will go into a kiln load of pieces along with everybody else and, um, and be biscuit fired. So the biscuit fire is a low firing, which takes you to a mere um, 1900 degrees Fahrenheit or 1060 centigrade. And it makes the wares hard enough that you can then apply the glaze and get it ready for the second firing. And the glaze is this shiny um, surface that goes on top of the decorated um, motifs. And then you put it back in the glaze. The pot is dipped in the glaze after the biscuit fire and then placed into a second firing and the glaze on top of it will then melt um, when the fire reaches 1170 to 1180 degrees centigrade which is a, a good hot medium range stoneware temperature that will bake your clay and make it nice and hard and make your glaze melt and be shiny and smooth and hygienic to, to clean to put in the dishwasher or to eat off of. Um, and come out finished. Um, after the first round of firing, the low 
1900 degrees Fahrenheit or 1060 centigrade. So um, this is a piece that's been decorated and fired once. We would then take this piece and we would dip it into a glaze solution. And the glaze is basically ground up silica with, mixed with um, clay and borax, which is what makes glaze for all pottery and ceramics. And then we will put it back in the kiln and fire it a second time to a higher temperature. So right now the clay is quite soft, but still hard enough that you can, you can dip it in the glaze and it will actually suck up some of the glaze and um, look like the pieces behind us that are loaded in the kiln. So this is the first... This is after the first after biscuit the first. firing. And then they'll become white like this? And then they will become white like this. That is the glaze that is on top of oh, the biscuit right now. Okay. So that is the glaze that will melt and uh -huh. become clear. And then when you fire it up to 1170, 80 degrees centigrade and cool it back down, you see all of these colors showing through the oh, shiny wow. melted glaze. So it's like a, a very um, thin glassy surface that seals everything, makes it easy to clean and um, that's how you make ceramics. <laughs> Camera, who is the more beautiful? Clearly it is you because it, it doesn't, it, yeah, okay, so cool. Um, that was pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot of science and, and, and physics that goes into the making of the uh, earthwork pottery. potteries. Yeah. And um, I actually quite learned quite a lot today. And um, before I leave, I'm going to pick out a, a piece to take home with me. You can get one as well? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, for sure. Can't leave without getting one. Yeah. We encourage you guys to come here. It's really easy to find. Honestly, I thought it was like... Yeah, I thought back. it was somewhere different. Yeah. Like... And it's um, right above La Savant School. Yeah. Like, so easy. Easy trip. Come and endorse this local and beautiful um, company here. And if you have friends who want stuff to take back, this is a perfect option. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so... Don't peace out. To like and subscribe. Smash that notification button so that you can get all the notifications when we post. Yeah. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye. -bye. Bye.